with our home items. So go ahead and do that now while we wait for everyone to finish showing up. Take two minutes, two minutes. So for those of you who just showed up, there's two minutes on the clock. You need to go find a random item in your house, like a coffee mug, a strainer, a jar of things, maybe. It could be a pot, a pan, a cup. Just be very careful with what it is. Make sure it is not something that can break. It can be an instrument. It can absolutely be an instrument. If you have instruments at home, definitely definitely go so you have two minutes two minutes or a little bit less you have about a minute now to try to find something in your home that you think is going to make an interesting sound that we might be able to jam with it could be a book you can open and close it you could also hit it um anything anything that you think is interesting enough to use as an instrument Just one, just one item, please. Just grab one. Thank you for asking me things in the chat without having to ask out loud. I appreciate that. Try to find one item in your home. You have about 30 seconds. Okay, I see a bunch of people got different things. We're waiting for a couple more people. And our time is up. Okay, so I have chopsticks because I have chopsticks. But if you don't have chopsticks, you might have pens or a pencil or anything of that kind. So if you have a pencil, for example, and you have a coffee mug, this one is made out of metal. It's for camping. So when I play it, it makes a really different sound than if I were using a ceramic one, right? If I hit on the side, it makes a different sound. So if you were in sixth grade at school two, then you know that one of the jobs that we're gonna do today is you're gonna try to find all the different sounds that your item makes. So for example, if I have this strainer, I know that I can hit it on the side. It sounds like plastic. But if I actually do this, then it has a different sound, right? So your job for the next minute is to figure out what sounds your item makes. If you got a lid, that could be something different. Go ahead and take one minute and figure out how many sounds your thing can make, what thing you have. And then I'm gonna be looking around to see who picks something and I'm gonna call on you to share out. So please make sure you know what sound you're actually making. Let's see. Oh, this looks really interesting. Uh, Kiara, Kiara, can you show us what you got? So I have this glass cup right here, and I figured out that hitting in the top sounds way different than hitting from the side. Yeah, so we've got like, two different sounds. All right, thank you very much. Let me see who else, who else I can find. Um, oh, this is interesting. Alicia. One second, one second, one second. Hold on, I'm trying to not, trying to unmute you. There you go. Okay, Alicia, go ahead. Okay, so I have a dream catcher and if I hold it up in the air, it sounds like this. But then if I put it on my wall. If I put it on my wall and it scratches the wall, it sounds like. And it's a different noise. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm going to pick one more person to share out. Let me see. Joanna, what do you have there? 
Let's see, hold on. It's wrapping paper. It's wrapping paper, okay, go ahead. Yes. Okay, like, if you hit it from the side, it makes like, I don't know, just kind of dense noise. And then from the top, the, the noises are not really that different though. Okay, that's fair. They're not really that different, but it makes a lower sound than the ones that we've been hearing just now. And then I'm gonna check out one more person who has something interesting. Let me see, Corey, what do you have? So, um, Corey, go ahead. Oh, I saw a bottle. Sure. Okay, what sounds are you making with it, Corey? Um. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try to play something on my items, and I want to see if you guys can try playing it on your items as well. So for right now, I'm going to keep my coffee in there. That'll be my item, and I'm using chopsticks, but again, you guys can use pens and pencils. So I'm just going to go ahead and do, so try that on your instrument. All right, so try this. So the other interesting thing too, for those of you who are playing and you have a table, for example, is that you have this sound from the table and you have the sound from the mug, right? So you can do, so give that a shot. If you have two sounds on your instrument, so for example, if you're like Kiara and you have the high sound and then the low sound, try doing that on your instrument, try going. And if you have a really low sound like Joanna's wrapping paper or anything else that could sound like a drum, try doing try doing something like that. So go ahead and take maybe like another minute just to figure out what sounds you want to play, whether you want to play some low stuff, whether you want to do some high stuff, or if you want to mix it up. So take a minute, and then you're going to share out at the end. Alejandro, do you have a guido right now? Yeah? So in about a minute, Alejandro's going to show us his guido. Um, is there anybody else who has an actual instrument at home? I feel like I saw someone, is that Elijah? Okay, so we're gonna do Alejandro, then Elijah, and I feel like, oh, I see Josue's hand is up. So we'll do those three, and then I'll have our other instruments, our kitchen instruments, join in. So take about one more minute. I see some really instrument, kitchen instrument, some really interesting kitchen instruments. Lamol, do you have a trumpet? That's awesome. I see some people have actual drums as well. This is really, really interesting. This is cool. So we have real instruments and then we have kitchen instruments. This is fantastic. Um, all right, let's hear Alejandro. He's gonna play some stuff for us on his guido. So Alejandro, go. And then like somehow if I do, it sounds weirder and then it sounds deeper than. Got it. Thank you very much. Um, who else did I say? I said Elijah. Let me try to find Elijah. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Do you have a guitar? Is that what's going on? Yeah. That's awesome. Can you put the camera a little bit down so we can see your guitar? All right. All right. And 
And who was the other person? I said Josue. Josue, let me find him. And I saw that Sam, you also have an instrument. So let me see if I can find, where did he go? Okay, both of those people are gone, Never mind. All right, let's check out Jalisha. She, she seems to have an instrument as well. Just show it to us, you don't have to play it. Let me see, what is it? It is a pink ukulele. That's pretty cool, thank you. All right, so who used their kitchen instrument to create an interesting beat? Can I see? Asan, show us what's up. So, right, that is two holes. So you have to do this, this side, right? And then right okay. here, bottom, mix this sound. Then if you bang these together, and done. Yeah. So actually, in some places, they're, the spoons are an actual instrument and people actually play really interesting things going on on the spoon. Um, can I have one more person share out their beat? One more person share out their beat. Can I see Ahmad? Um, if you hit the top of the cut, okay. you, it makes this sound. But if you hit it on the side, Okay, super cool. And let me get one more person. One more person to share out. Let me see. So we had actual instruments, we had some kitchen instruments. Sam, can you show us your drums, please? Cool, can you show us the two sounds? It makes this sound, or, and then if I hit it on the side. Yeah, super cool. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna teach you guys a beat. I'm gonna use my tub here because it makes a drum-like sound. So I'm gonna use that. For those of you who don't have a drum-like sound, if you might have a glass cup and you're using these kinds of sounds, you can always turn the cup upside down and try to use the top. The sound gets much lower because you've basically sucked up all of the sound and now it's not going anywhere. It's not going to echo out of the cup. So if you're using a cup, put it face down. And we're gonna try to do this for right now, just to make sure that everybody can get it. Can we go? Let's try one more time. Here we go, one, two, ready, go. So if you're using, not drums, if you have like a son, you have spoons or something, you can do this. Let's try it. One, two, ready, go. Yeah, some of you guys are doing it backwards for me, so just try to make sure that we clap at the same time and hit at the same time. Let's go one last time. One, two, here we go. Yeah, so if you have this or this, we should be doing the same pattern, right? So I want you to add something to that pattern. So it could either be, and then add a snap, or it can be, and you can add something on your table. So add one thing to our pattern. Right now, this is our pattern, this top. Add one new thing using your instrument to our pattern. Take one minute, go. Oh, I see some people really moving their spoons or their pencils. I see some people adding extra stuff 
on the top of their instruments. That's pretty cool. People using their hands are definitely adding snaps. So that looks pretty interesting. Okay, you have about 30 more seconds and I'm gonna go ahead and call on some people to share out. Ooh, I see people using two different types of things. So I see someone using like one instrument on this side and one instrument on that side to make two different sounds. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I see some really creative things going on here. So I'm gonna start calling on people. Raise your hand, actually wave it at the camera and I will call on you if you think you're ready to share out. Josue, can I hear what you've got going on? No, don't go. Uh, okay. Don't push my hand. No, you didn't know that. I didn't actually wave my hand, but okay. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to Josue. He's got a lot going on. Somebody else, actually wave your hand in front of the camera so I know that you're ready to go. Um, I see some of the same people. Can I get somebody new, please? Somebody new. Brian, go ahead. Brian, go. Okay, so what I'm doing is that I'm doing this one with like... And I hit the bottle at the end. <laughs> I see. So you added a bottle to it and then you added the spoons clapping at the beginning. That's pretty cool. Can I have somebody see, else come up? Can you see whose hands are waving? If I don't see hands waving, I'm gonna call on somebody. Danica. Okay. So what I did was basically I added I added on to the like cup, so I was like, "Cool!" So she added this happening at the end there. Can I get one more person? Let me see hands waving at the screen. I see Ahmad. Ahmad, go ahead. Um. What are you hitting on the side of your on the side of your cup there? My calculator. Oh, your calculator. So you've got this. Is that what's happening? Can you do it one more time? Oh, I see. So you've got this clap calculator. Is that what's happening? That's pretty cool. So I might added an extra sound, which is the calculator, which is a very interesting choice. Um, can I have someone who I haven't heard from? So let me see. I'm going to pick a random person who's been very quiet. Valerie. So what I did, what I did was that um, I did, because I tapped my cup. Can I see what you're hitting on the bottom? I can only see your sticks. Okay, can you do it one more time, please? Oh, that's pretty cool. So if you guys have a cup, let's try doing what Valerie just showed us. So she did down, clap, down, down, up, up. So let's try doing that, please. So it's gonna go down, clap, down, down, up, up, right? Let's try it. Valerie, can you do it one more time for us? Cool, let's have everybody join in on Valerie. Everybody join into what Valerie's doing. Here we go, one, two, Ready, go. And let's go ahead and repeat it a couple of times. So, Ms. Porcelli, can you mute Valerie, please? So let's try to repeat it a couple of times. So whether you have a mug, whether you have a big cup like this or a cup like this, you're gonna go down, clap, down, down, side, side, right? And we're gonna repeat it. Let's repeat it three times. So we're gonna go, One, 
two, here you go. Down, clap, down, down, side, side, down, clap, down, down, side, side, down, clap, down, down, side, side, down, clap, down, down, side, side. Uh, I'm going to give you about 30 more seconds to practice doing it on your own, and then I'm going to randomly call on people to show us how to do it. So you got 30 seconds to practice before I randomly call on anybody. Go. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Nana, show us what you got. All right, thank you, Nana. Um, let me see, who else, who else, who else, who else? Liani, show us what you got. Okay, and can I see, let me pick another random person here. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Zulea, show us what you got. Try one more time, please. Okay, pretty cool. Who thinks that they came up with a much more complicated rhythm? Because I feel like this was kind of easy, right? It's kind of easy. Who thinks they have a way more complicated rhythm that we could be playing right now? Uh, Valerie says she found something more complicated. Asan has something more complicated. Danica, let's hear it. So, basically, what you have to do, I have to play it. Yeah, show us how to do it. Play it as we have now. Try one more time. So, is what I heard. It's one. So. Is it that? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Okay. Can somebody else show us what they got going on? I see Masita drumming all over the table. So Masita is going to show us what she's been drumming all over the table. Yeah. So you got mm -hmm. right. So everybody, give that a shot. Listen to it really quick. Um, let me see if I can get Synovia to show that to us. I saw Synovia practicing it pretty. Pretty well. Pretty I no have a well. different. I have a different one though. Oh, go for it. Show us your different one. It goes like. Miss Porcelli, somebody learn the top song. Uh, yes. Yes. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's it. Um, for those of you who don't know the cup song or who don't know what she just played, Miss Porcelli, Miss Porcelli, say what's up. Um, yeah, hey guys, I'm Miss Porcelli, um, also a music teacher. But yeah, if you don't know the cup song, which we just saw Synovia doing, I put up a video yesterday on the classical YouTube, so you'll see extra enrichment um, cup song. So go ahead and watch it, and you can learn. Yeah, so go check that out. We've all been uploading a bunch of different videos on there. All right, so if one last person has a beat, share it out, please. A brand new beat that we haven't heard yet. Um, I'm looking, I see Ahmad has his hand up, Valerie has her hand up, and Asan has his hand up. Uh, let's start with Ahmad, go ahead. Um, so I did. 
Try that one more time, please. That was pretty cool. So that's using his calculator and his cup. Can I see what Valerie has? What else did you make up over there? Wait one second. Okay, Valerie, go ahead. We don't know where Valerie went. Okay, somebody else, please. Who else did I have with their hands up? Asan, Asan, go ahead and show us what you got. Push, right. Can you do it one more time, please? So first, that hit the side of the table. And hit the side of the cup, hit something next to you, hit the top, smack it, then do it again. Okay, thank you. And I'm going to pick on somebody who I haven't heard at all. So I'm going to go around and look around. Um, Amber, show us what you got. Amber, wait one second. So okay, like, go ahead. I took a marker and a pencil, mm -hmm. and I just. Can you point the camera to your hand so we can see what you're doing? I went down like three times, and then I banged the pencil like at a regular steady beat. Okay, can you do it one more time, please? Okay, thank you very much. Amarachi, can you please show us what you have going on? Okay, I have I have a <laughs> I have a box. So Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is mine. Okay, thank you. I'm muting myself. Sure. Okay, so that was Amaraji's. And can I get one more? Bintu, can you show us what you got, please? Wait. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So Bintu used all the different parts of her cup to make all of the different sounds that she was making. That was a very cool thing. All right, so we're gonna try a couple more beats. So this time, if you have two instruments or if you just have one, you're gonna need a low one and a high sounding one. So you're gonna need low and high so we can get some different things happening, right? Um, can I have, if you have a high sound, can you just do this? So if you have one side, just going. So that should just be your right hand. So one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. And if you have on this hand, you're just gonna go on two and four. So you're gonna go one, two, and three, and one, and three, and one. So some of those things that you just did right now with two hands, it's basically how to play on a drum set. So if this hand goes, then you have the same pattern that you would play if you were on an actual drum set doing something like that right the other thing that you can do is you can mix up all of the different sounds that you have and you can make a bunch of different sounds. so i'm sure all of your parents are thrilled that i'm teaching you how to drum all over your house 
I'm sure they love the idea of you guys just walking around, hitting a bunch of things, but you should totally still do it because there's music in literally every part of your house. So make sure you do that. Some of you said you were really bored, so hopefully you don't stay bored for much longer. Does anybody have one last thing that they wanna show us or share with us today? I saw some people with other instruments that you didn't show us at the beginning. So please show us now if you can. Danica's going crazy, so Danica, what is up? Okay, so basically I have a cup and then like a mint box. And then basically, since the mint is higher, I just make this be. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So she used a higher sound and a lower sound to create that beat. Who else has either an interesting beat that they just created or another instrument that they want to show us that they have around their house? Um, can I please see? I'm looking at Elijah, Elijah Sierra. So Elijah from school two. Yeah. Go ahead and show us what you got. All right. Here we go. Okay. What are your instruments? What are your kitchen instruments? What do you got? All you got right. So I, I got this. I think it was a sharpener, but it's kind of like that. But it's kind of like square shaped. So I thought it would make a good instrument. And this is a mug. A mug. So we've got a sharpener and a mug and some spoons. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So he's got himself his own little drum set over there using a sharpener, a mug, and some spoons. Um, so Lemuel, can you show us your trumpet, please? So Lemuel, go ahead. Can you play something for us? Can you just play a note? Cool, thank you, Lemuel. It's cool that Lemuel has an instrument at home. Um, I saw Katie's hand going like this, so I'm gonna pick on her. I just gotta find her first. So please give me a second. So I found Kiara, I need to find Katie. Oh, there you are. All right, Katie, go ahead. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, can you do that one more time, please? All right, that's pretty cool. What are you using there? Oh, um, I'm using my glass cup and my lunch, I mean, my pencil box. Okay, so we've got a pencil box, a glass cup, and where are those markers? And two pencils. And two yeah. pencils, got it, got it. So yeah, you guys can use anything that you need to around your house to make any kind of sound. So like I said, I was using chopsticks because they're very similar to drumsticks, they're just smaller. But like I said, you can use pencils. Some of you guys have been using markers. Spoons work really well as well. Just don't use anything dangerous and definitely don't use anything that could break because we definitely don't want anything breaking or doing anything crazy. So your only homework that's gonna be for next time is for you to actually create a beat using two or more home instruments. That means you can't only use one thing. You've gotta have two different sounds or more. You can have two or three. But your job is that when I see you guys next Tuesday, you're gonna be able to show out some beat that you created using all of the things in your house, not real instruments. So those of you who have guitars, trumpets, trombones, it's super cool, keep playing them, but try making some sounds on not real instruments so that we can see what else you got going on and what other kind of creative things you can do. Does anybody have any questions about that? I am gonna be calling on random people next time. I'm not gonna call on just people who wanna share out. So make sure you have something done because you never know it could be you who gets called out. Does anybody have questions, comments, concerns? I see mostly 
knows. If you do, you can always just private message me on the chat. Also, you don't have to ask out loud if you're nervous about talking in front of people or anything like that, which at this point you shouldn't be. Okay, if you're in school too, you guys can go ahead and drop out of this chat. Bye-bye. And make sure you go back to 